Drew, I ask you, what do you mean by this? Cobes and six and and Robin. Uh, to a lead, of course. It always goes back to the to a lead joke. Holy. I love how Drew just being online made a lot of Cobras, um, Preds fans think that they were just going to lose the series. Like, that doesn't make a difference. Like, Ward is online half the time as well. So was Caden Irwin, Jimmy Nor for, like, the NLCS. Like, it didn't make a difference, did it? You know how funny this will be if I get to the end of the MLW Discord Reacts video for this week? And then the video, this is 37 minutes long. Like, we have at least 80 screenshots to go through, guys. Oh my lord. Anyways, welcome back to another video on the channel, guys. My name is AJ, and we are back with another MLW Discord Reacts, because a lot of you are busting my balls for this. <laughs> we got the MLW Discord Reacts to the ALCS between the Preds and the Cobras, and the NLCS versus with the D-backs and the Mallards. Every series is just getting better and better. We are so close to the World Series at SoFi Stadium. Let's get right into it. Well, the Cobras literally blew a 2-0 lead in game one, and the fact that Drew was just lurking around online just shows that, you know what? Don't, I, I don't know. I don't know if it really hints at anything. I don't think it does. Y'all are just being a little bit superstitious here, but whatever. It is what it is. Hey, Cobras ended up winning, so I mean, Sean Flynn made the catch of his life that inning. Let's acknowledge that as well, but Baranowski somehow found a way to shut down the Mallard, the Mallards, oh my god the predators offense he got both he got alec warda brennan russell and ryan crash to all go down whole that is huge man and that that was a turning point in the series you can just ask anybody i i personally think that was the turning point in the series hell dr michael Page. <laughs> Oh my god, and it's funny because he, he's uh, Kyle even said in the uh, in the video that you know that was the last home run that Sean has hit since um, off a of crotch since the uh, Hail Dr. Michael Page home run. So it, it's pretty much an iconic, you know, way to you know come back and hit your first home run off a of crotch in like two years almost. It's been a long ass time, and there it is, folks. The Coastal Cobras are finally returning after five long years of heartbreak, torment, and choking leads. They finally make it back to the World Series. I think that's really the first meme that my channel has spawned unintentionally. The Preds lose, lol, Preds lose, lol, Warner, lol, Crouch, lol, Russell, lol, McLean, lol, Holly, lol, Preds miss, lol. <laughs> I love it though, I love it. I wasn't gonna do the same, like, it's only gonna be iconic when the Preds miss. Like, I named Gators miss, lol, Gators miss, lol, because, you know, I did, but still, like, it doesn't hit the same as Preds miss, lol, let's just say that. Okay, what is this thing between uh, Dave, uh, Drew Davis and Caden Irwin? Like, what, what is go what is going on? Bro, either Drew, blow your team up, or just go to the, uh, the Mallards, or just trade for Caden Irwin to the Cobras. Like, come on, just get, get it done and over with. Preds fans, what happened? <laughs> What is that? What happened? Uh, like, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce. Yeah, somebody might want to find ECK. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how he's doing right now. That's, uh, yeah, tough look for the only Preds fan that I, like, truly respect with that, like, with any respect to, like, a certain extent. Like, he is just above every Preds fan for me. I am still so confused as to where the hell they got this stupid pie from. Like, what, like, what did they do? Did they just bring a tub of, did Sawyer Bean bring a tub of whipped cream? And then also, like, a, a baking tray and just, like, shove it in his face as soon as they want. Like, I, I don't know what the, where the hell they got that pie, but they got the pie. Bro, Caden Irwin is one of the most likable guys in MLW. How the hell does ECK possibly hate him? And, it, it, you know, it's even nice to know that, you know, he's he's taking care of just making sure that, he, <laughs> that ECK is fine. Because, who knows, probably, like, my mental health after watching the Leafs or Blue Jays collapse. With how competitive both teams were, that series was easily by far, I'd say, the best series of the year, along with the Cobras d back series in, um, Vermont, my bad. <laughs> my, my brain is just struggling to think. It's, it's pretty early in the morning, I got up a little while ago, and then I gotta go to work soon, so I literally have another 56 minutes to record, and then I gotta get in the car and go to work, so yeah, let's, uh, let's speed run this stuff. He wrote an essay on how he hated him, and that got him on Fade the Maho, oh my god. Mallards fan, what are you doing, bro? Like, what what has he been doing in our Discord servers as of late? Like, I don't even know what's up with this kid. I, I'm so confused. Oh, yeah, no, it's undisputed. I don't give a shit if, the, uh, if Robles went on to win the World Series, which he didn't. Keep that in mind. Cr Crouch is winning the MVP now. It's, like, it's almost guaranteed because Robles, what did he do? He went 2 for 21 in his... Wait, no. Am I thinking about my... I think he went 2 for 12, 2 for two, for 14, I don't know, I'm thinking of Robles in my, uh, in, uh, the Polar Penguin Sim League. Sim League down in the description, boys. <laughs> but for real, um, yeah, no, Crouch MVP, and then it's undisputed. I've been saying it for weeks, if not months now, Crouch is the MVP. Yep, here we go, at least Ward is honest, unlike most other athletes that are people pleasers. BN owns your poverty. Another Baron for MVPW, oh my god, this, this kid's on the roll as of late, but like, Mallers fan, bro. 
buddy, why do you take this to such, like, to such hard, like, if anything, what you see in the videos, obviously, like, I'm acting to an extent, like, I, I, I'm gonna say now, I, I'm not that involved in, like, um, you know, watching the Metro Magic collapse, like, it hurts if they made the playoffs, but watching them collapse in the Wildcat series, I didn't give a crap at that point, because we were, we were garbage this year. Quack, 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 quack. Quack. My boy Sawyer really hit the BO101 banner more than he actually hit Baron in the face with that pie. Like, bro, Davis is right. Terrible pie throw. I mean, it, it was fun in the moment, but that was a terrible throw looking at it now. Like, that was terrible. Yeah, uh, the Cobras are in the World Series. <laughs> unbelievable to think about it dre you have a good point but like uh, i thought they'd miss this year i don't know why i thought they'd miss this year but to be fair i thought the magic would go on and win the world series but anyways but yeah cobras in the world series i, I can honestly not be happier for them out of context mlw is like <laughs> the fuel for out of context mlw as of late is ridiculous like the amount of stuff for akinola's account the discord channel like we have everything in the world of like that's out of context mlw uh, and you'll see a lot more because there's some in the thumbnail literally jimmy norb on the floor is the thumbnail and i get all my thumbnails for the discord reacts out of the uh the out of context mlw channel so thank you guys for providing thumbnails for this but like i don't think ward is gonna replace his lifelong friend bro and there's my boy ck yep yep yeah me yeah, poor kid poor kid i just don't want to talk about it yep i know how he feels i don't know how much bias you can exactly say there was but <laughs> the bias of i'm rooting for the preds but also for Baron, well, I mean, okay, <laughs> uh, like, I, I didn't really detect any bias in his voice, but, like, to be fair, it doesn't really matter what he says, what he does, like, he can't root against any team, like, only when he's on the field, maybe he can, but, like, as a commissioner, as a guy doing the videos and stuff, like, he needs to just stay unbiased, he has to. This is 100% facts though, and I will agree with this, because even though the Magic are out, like, you can easily just, like, root for any team, any game, any series, hell, any at-bat, like, you can root for a certain player against another, like, it's so easy to just root for anybody and just watch it, and watch them play. This guy has a really good take about this. They give off the same vibe, dude. my tongue. Whatever crack war is on, I want a little bit of that, because I think they do deserve it after beating you guys five out of six games in a season, and going on to the World Series. Can I meet Dr. Michael Page? Like, I, I want to see who this guy is. Like, can, can like... <laughs> Can Sean Flynn invite him out to like the the pre uh, to like the uh, opening day next year that the Cobras play? Like if he's not busy, can can Sean just invite him out? That would be sick. Honestly, the Cobras 30 for 30 could be very much like the Predators one, but I would still love to see it because it's been seven years, seven long years of torment. Yes, that's a quote that Kyle said straight after Warda hit that walk-off home run in the 2019 World Series. But still, like look at this. Like they have the best story. They've come out of nowhere. They've drafted some fantastic guys. I'm sorry for all the crap I said about Baranowski, but like I, I really think these guys you know, they have it this year could be the year they finally get it done and i said it from the beginning we're smoking that water pack now are we we're smoking that water pack <laughs> bro what <laughs> same vibes oh no 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 water ain't gonna give russell the kuzma treatment nah there's no way bro kuzma wasn't even a scapegoat the lakers are just shit why does this guy sound so bitter like i the seven year curse lives on okay yeah it lives on for maybe another like week and a half who know who knows how much longer i don't know maybe the cobras could win in three Okay, my, my honest World Series prediction, I'm going to give you a World Series preview video coming up soon, so I'm not, I'm going to save my prediction for then. My bracket's beyond busted, but I predicted that the, a lot of the, but, um, I've said multiple times that I think the Cobras have a legitimate shot to win the 2022 World Series, and in my five hot takes video, I said, you know what, is this finally the year, and it could very well might finally be the year. I love the Cobras players, and I love the D-backs players. I would not mind to see either team win, but the D-backs won last year. I want to see the Cobras finally get on the board with their first championship. So I'm gonna really, uh, I mean, can I hop on the Cobras bandwagon? I might as well. Why not? Was this dude not a bandwagon Preds fan like three months ago? If not two, if not one, if not a few weeks ago? Like, what? The water looks like he's doing some goofy shit, like clicking his heels or something. Like, what, what, what? Everything about this, like, this post right here, I preached in the video. Brackets busted. Don't care. Happy for the Cobras. They finally go on and the Preds had a great bounce back season but Crash if Crash doesn't win MVP this league is rigged I'm sorry this this league is a hundred percent rigged it, it's November he's not allowed to do that we switched gears to next week and yeah I wouldn't be mad at D-backs in three well uh, clearly AJ plays was right about that one yeah as soon as I went to extra innings in game one you knew immediately it was gonna be a bloodbath for the entire series you got uh, MLW's 2021 MVP going up against the best player in the country. Like, it, yeah, that was gonna be a matchup. We should have seen that coming. Like, 
I thought Mallard's in two. I don't know why, but damn. Jamie Norp handed it to them, bro. The thing is, B. Willie's not even there to hit the Grand Slam again, but it's fine because Shima sees in his back, baby. The little guy, somehow, some way, this g playoff Shima's a different breed, bro. The little guy did it again. Holy crap, has he been clutch as of late. <laughs> Norp's arm is dead, bro. I mean, obviously, pitching eight innings of wiffle ball at like 72 miles per hour, like that, that's just AIDS. To say the least, that's just absolutely insane. So yeah, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, his arm is definitely killing him. TC3, then TC3 again, then Caden Irwin, bro, you know when Tommy Coughlin shows some emotion on the field, like he doesn't do that often, he's a very humble guy, but when he lets the emotion get the best of him, and he's out there and he's celebrating with his boys like the way he did when he rounded the bases the second time in that inning, bro, you could tell how much it meant to the Mallards. That team was getting fired up. They, bro, that was... That was insane. Holy, like, it was huge for their momentum to go ahead and win game two. I, I mean, the D-backs won game three. We haven't got to that point yet in the reaction portion, but maybe we'll, we'll get there in a minute. Oh, we brought back this quote. I, I, <laughs> you know, I just noticed the name. I just noticed this dude's name, bro. Mallard's fan, I, I'm sorry. Mallard's fan, I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry, bro. This is like, uh, yeah, I just, <laughs> dude. Oh, my God. The... The way he just overuses the word darkness, like, it does, that's the only thing about his commentating sometimes that cheeses me a little bit. So maybe we got some Tommy Coughlin commentating action in the World Series. That would be actually pretty interesting. I'd love to see that because, I mean, Coughlin's going to be there. You know he will be. Kyle Schultz, is, he's going to be there as well. Neither of them are playing. So, I mean, I don't see why both of them, like, don't get a chance behind the camera and speak a little bit. Because I love when Tommy calls games. I, lo I love Kyle Schultz and all, but, like, Tommy Coughlin, when he's calling games, oh, it's a different vibe, bro. Hammer's really leaving no mercy, bro. Kyle is dog shit on both the mound and the press box. Oh, my. Bro, Kyle Schultz, I'm sorry, but Hammer, you're on a roll as of late. What the? Like, Kyle just said that, and my brain is thinking, like, no shit, Sherlock, of course it's getting darker. Like, bro, what, like, what are you talking about? Of course it's getting darker, bro. Jimmy Nor, perfect game. I just, I, I don't understand how the hell did he manage to pull that crap off. And the 5 and 10 Diamondbacks are going to the World Series, bro. Again, you don't count out a really good team. I knew this, I knew these guys had talent. I didn't see them going on and winning it, winning it all. They had the potential to 100% if they just buried the demons and they just went in and got the job done. Michael Shima is providing the offensive load behind Jimmy Norp for both him and Jonah Heath as of late. And Jimmy Norp is doing it all on the mound and he's been clutch as hell at the plate as well with that home run in game three. The perfect game in game three, bro. That was the game of his life, Jimmy Norp, right there. That was huge. And the Mal and the Mallards are eliminated, and the D-backs are off to the World Series. I agree with what, like, Kyle slash Kevin says here. Like, bro, they don't matter. They really don't matter. <laughs> as long as you make the playoffs, it's anybody's game. As long as you can win wiffle ball games in that moment, the records don't matter. Congrats. You did well in the regular season. You made it to the playoffs. Now you need to perform in the playoffs. It's not a gimme for the 11-4 and four team to beat the 5-10 and 10 team. No, they actually have to produce. Mallards, unfortunately, they did, like, they got out, they outscored the, the D-backs, but they still couldn't finish it off. Like, they, I, jeez, oh man. The last time Drew Davis went against the downtown Diamondbacks was the 2020 opening day series, the night game where Gavin Noreski and Mason Jewell were still on that Diamondbacks team. Brendan Schultz was still on that Cobras team. So much has changed in MLW since that time, and Drew Davis will finally go head-to-head -head on MLW's literally their biggest stage yet at SoFi Stadium in the World Series in 2022. This can't get any better than this. Jesus Christ now. Okay, I guess you could think of it like that, that the Mallards really just blew that season. Yeah, I mean, you could consider it for sure, but like, geez. I made this the thumbnail for a reason, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love out of context MLW memes, bro. That's just oh my, it's so freaking great. I it, it makes any bad day of mine so much better. Just looking at the dumbest things MLW has to offer, that is great. There is a reason why, the, like the saying is, offense wins games, defense wins championships. And right now, the defense of the downtown Diamondbacks is as elite as it's ever been, and it's sending them to the championship. But to be fair, the Mallards had exceptional defense. Like, both sides had to really play well in the field to make outs and, like, make sure they stayed in the series. So I commend both teams' outfields as well as their pitchers for doing such a good job as, uh, like, getting the ball into play and then completing the plays as well. Michael Shima, you've done it again! It's not exactly a hot take considering this series, Jimmy Norb, I think he pitched like he did last year. Like, he, he performed at such an elite level 
in this series, like it was like reminiscent of last year. He'd never put up a perfect game though last year. Maybe he hit for the cycle, but last year he never put up a perfect game. This was the 10th perfect game in MLW history, his first on the board. It's definitely a hot take, but obviously I think I'm going to take last year's Norp, even though like he performed at a very, very elite level this series, to say the least. But last year, Jimmy Norp, he went on a tear. We need to admit that. He was on unstoppable Mallers fans I, I i feel for you but i really don't want to hear you because you have the first pick in next year's draft as well as one of the best players in the country so i mean as much as you may not have won this series you had such a great bounce back season and you know what it's not a season to look down upon you know you could have gone further in the playoffs sure but you still did really well compared to last year so i mean it's nothing to hang your head uh, your heads on Mal for the Mallards fans um, yeah, <laughs> that's all, that's all I gotta say about that, like, stop crying, focus on next year, Jordan Robles is probably gonna bring in one of his elite-ass buddies, and MLW is gonna become a- uh, Yeah, the, uh, this might be the only banner that they're gonna get this season, they made it further in the playoffs than the Eagles, for the first time in the last, like, three, three seasons? Yeah, the first time since 2018, yep. Imagine this shit, though, congrats to the Mallards, you won a pair of fucking batting gloves, like, bro, what, what, what why, like, I never knew that was a thing until like these series. Like, what have, has Kyle had those all? That was a bad voice crack. Has Kyle had those all season? Yup, definitely, a hundred percent. Norp, if you counted the pool season, Norp would be in in the MVP candidacy. Like, the guy has performed so well. And obviously, he's had help from like Michael Shimo with the hitting, Jonah Heath, you know, here and there. But Jimmy Norp has carried the load once again. He's putting on a show on the mound. He is doing it all, bro. He did, If the postseason was definitely considered, the finalists for the MVP would be Cratch, Norp, and Robles. At the beginning of the... Excuse me. Um, No offense, Jimmy. At the beginning of the postseason, I, I did not think so. But, like, after you actually got through the, the Eagles in pretty convincing fashion, from there, it's like, okay, a lot of us had to rethink our brackets a little bit. Like, I was going to stick with my bracket anyways. But still, like, uh, damn. Honestly... Yeah, we, we didn't really see it coming. We forgot how good you could be, Jimmy. James B. Norp, you are pretty much elite. You will always be elite in MLW, my guy. <laughs> <coughs> oh, my God. Like, bro, I, I clicked on this screenshot to put it in my freaking... To, to record the, the voiceover for it. And, bro, I'm dying over here. Because it's <laughs> just the caption. Yay, we lost! <laughs> oh. I love it. I, bro, the, the MLW Discord and the community is just absolutely hilarious. I love you guys. I commend, <laughs> I commend Kyle Schultz's dedication if he's had those laying around for God knows how long, man. That, that would be amazing if he's just had those lying around at every single series, bro. That would be amazing. I don't give a shit how many runs you score in what game, bro. All that matters is that you beat the other team two times out of three. That's all that matters. I don't give a shit that they got outscored. That doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't say who's the better team or not. It really doesn't. Sure, they got around to Jimmy Norr for one inning. Think of it like that. All four runs came against them in one inning. It, excuse me, inning, okay? Otherwise, Norp was pretty much dominating them for the other 12 that he played. Okay, sure, he walked some guys here and there, but that, that's fine. Eight innings game one, two innings game two, and then three innings game three. Jimmy, Jimmy Norb balled out this series, bro. Like, he, and then also, oh my, Shima did his job, bro. She, I'm saying, Shima did his job. Shima is solid. He helped Norp. He did what he had to do. The world is a dark place when my boy Nickens doesn't upload videos. Like, I don't know when the last time he uploaded a video was, but I really do miss Nickens. Like, I, uh, damn, like, Nickens, you know, the world needs you, bro. The world needs our lovely, our father in the MLW community, as we like to call him. Like, we miss you, man. Like, start uploading again, please. We, we really all want to see your content, bro. Come on. If people are still doubting the D-backs, I have nothing else to say, but, like, bro, check your glasses if you wear glasses. If not, you got to get glasses. And if you got glasses, you got to, like, clean your glasses, bro. I don't know what crap I just went on. I think I said glasses, like, five times in the last at least 10 to 15 seconds. That's got to be a new record for the amount of times that word has been said within a 10 to 15 second span. Why, why does this Jimmy Norp eats farts thing? What, like, bro, my my sense of humor is broken. I, I apologize. My sense of humor is broken. No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm leaving, guys. I'm sorry. We're not fishing this Discord. I'm done.
Um, yeah, this is going to be the most, forget the location they're playing at, the rivalry that Drew Davis has sparked between the Cobras and the D-backs, the Battle of the Snakes, the Snake Showdown, those guys, that's, bro, we got Trenton Takeover, you got the Snake Showdown, you got all these series of, like, key matchups of primetime guys going, like, head-to-head -head against each other, it's sick, I, I just, <laughs> the Snake Showdown, bro, Davis is back. You saw how they went head to head. Bian and Norp in game three, they went toe to toe. If Andy Durant is at this series, bro, you know how happy I'll be if Andy Durant actually gets to go out to LA because football like allows him just to go out for at least like two of the three games or two of the nah, nah. I want him out there all the time. But for real, dude, this is going to be the best series of all time in MLW history. It's gonna be chaotic. It's gonna be absolutely insane, bro. This better go to five. This has to go to five games. Out of 14 innings played in this series, that's accurate for 13 innings because Tommy and uh, Tommy and Irwin did what they had to do in inning one of game two. Otherwise, they didn't do much. The offense didn't really produce that much. It did enough for game two, but they produced zeros in the other two games. It doesn't help that Jordan Robles was equally, I don't want to say terrible, but he didn't swing the ball very well either. Robles didn't have a single home run in this series, which, which was kind of terrible. It's not what you expect out of a guy like Jordan Robles. So, I mean, like, you can't really say give Robles some help when Robles didn't help himself at the plate either. You can't expect him to carry the load. But, you know, he's got to help himself a little bit too, right? You, you guys get what I mean. I thought this was a fleece from the beginning for t for Jimmy Norp and the D-backs. They got, bro, they ended up getting a higher pick like I expected them to end up getting at the start of the season. And they bring in Trey Flood, bro. <laughs> Dude. And, and what's Ben Wilson done of productivity for the Midwest Ballers? Let me answer you that. They could have really had Trey Flood instead. Um, or they could have had Ty Smith or Casey Bennett if they wanted. They actually could have gone out and gotten somebody else if they wanted to. But for real, I'm telling you, Norb won this trade. Now it's confirmed Norb won the trade. But I, I always thought that Norb had won the trade. You, can, you guys can go back to some of my older videos. I've said that Jimmy Norb won the trade even when it first happened oh uh, yeah i kind of do feel bad for you buddy um lord panda johnny bean burner now temporary phillies fan and i see why you're a temporary phillies fan hell I, I was cheering for the phillies i think everybody except astros fans were cheering for the phillies but even then like dude <laughs> i feel bad because the yankees they they choked they got swept and the mallards they didn't do that well either so i mean i'm sorry about that bro but i mean yeah he really didn't produce like i thought he would that that's that's not what you expect, bro. That that's just devastating. Well, uh, God rest your soul, Caden. I didn't want this to take a little bit of a darker approach, and this isn't even intended to be dark. But you know what, um, Caden? You know we love to see it. You are one of the most likable, and seem to be one of the nicest guys in MLW. We love you, bro. Like, and we love what you just did. That that is a very humble thing to do, a very noble thing to do. Um, yeah, God, God rest your soul. Um, you know what? absolute calm i don't know what what sound just came out of me absolutely calm in kaden irwin w like increasingly if not always like it insanely common kaden irwin w I'll, I'll just stop bro shuma's alive he stopped playing dead but dead by daylight for a minute oh my god and my two guys here they are dark and jay to close out the video yeah like um like both of you guys um uh, a lot of people are having late reactions to this, mainly because, uh, for me, I work. <laughs> I work, so, um, I barely get time to watch on my break. Uh, on my break, like, I watched game one and two, and then I came home and watched game three when I'm trying to get in and, and watch my MLW Sim League games. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, because Polar Penguins, you know, we just traded for Chris Cheatham. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, like, bro, the team is looking ridiculous now. Like, it, okay. My team right now for Sim League, let's not even get into that. Let's focus on this. Bro, Himmy Norp. Yeah, Himmy freaking Norp. Bro, he absolutely performed. Jimmy Norp is that guy. And yes, they just ended the comeback season of the ages for the Mallards. Yeah, it, it's sick to see. And now we get to go ahead, guys. And that's it for this video. We get to go ahead now and we get to see the Snake Showdown in in SoFi Stadium, bro. The Downtown Diamondbacks, Coastal Culvers, Jimmy Norp, Brendan Baranowski. Um, Jonah Heath, Sean Flynn, Michael Shima, Sawyer Bean. I haven't even mentioned Drew Davis yet. Hopefully Andy Durant is there. I, pretty much everybody on each team is going to be there. I, you hope. Obviously you want to get Andy out there. He's the only one who I think would probably not be able to go, but otherwise the rest of them, for sure. Um, 
It's going to be great content, guys. You guys are going to be getting um, a video for games 1 and 2, then a video for games 3 and 4, and one final video, long video for game 5, I promise you that. Um, anyways, that's pretty much going to be it for this one, guys. I want to thank y'all very much for watching this video. Um, of uh, this, vi uh, vi Excuse me. Very much for watching this Discord Reacts video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys all next time. Peace out, y'all.